Hi, and welcome to this section of the Matrix Algebra Tutor. And in this section of the class, we're going to tackle the topic of uh, the determinant of a matrix. Okay, so we learned about the inverse of a matrix, and that was a useful concept when we were trying to solve systems of equations to kind of cancel terms, so to speak, and solve the system, right? Determinant is one of those things that's very useful for other things outside of what we're learning about today, but also you'll learn in the next section after I teach you how to calculate them. In the next section, we'll use determinants as yet another way to solve systems of equations. So this whole course really is about solving systems of equations using matrices, different methods of it, okay? So let's learn about the determinant now, and we'll learn about the application of how, what to use it for in the next section, okay? Now the main thing between a determinant and an inverse, to keep them straight in your head, inverse is a matrix. You get an inverse matrix. When you calculate a determinant, you're always going to get a number, just a number. That's all. You get a matrix, you're going to do some math in there, and you're going to get a single number back. The determinant might be 3, or the determinant might be negative 5 sevenths, or the determinant might be negative 9 or something. Um, but your determinant is going to be a single number, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. The, only, the easiest way to do this is just to show you and just start banging through some examples and show you what a determinant is and how to calculate that. So first, we're going to start with uh, the determinant, which I'm going to abbreviate DET. You'll usually see it in the books like that. Determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix, which is just a simple uh, little square matrix. And then we're going to practice that and we're going to go on and do the 3 by 3s because that's going to be a little, little bit more involved. Um, but we need to master the 2 by 2s first. So one thing at a time. Um, and you'll see that it's not, it, this is compared to doing an inverse, the determinant's not very hard at all. Okay? So you have a matrix uh, A, B, C, D. Okay? A, B, C, D. All right? And the determinant is usually written with a D, E, T out in front that, telling you it's determinant, or sometimes you'll actually just see these little vertical bars, A, B, C, D, to calculate the determinant. Okay? Either way, it's just notation. The determinant's actually calculated as follows. What I need you to do is envision an X here, an X going from left to right, upper left to lower right, and then like this. You need to remember that like this. Just draw an X with your fingers. That's the determinant and you'll see why. A times D minus B times C. That is the determinant. That's it. There's no matrix involved. There's no nothing to multiply by. That's it. A, D minus B, C. That's it. So that's why the X is very useful for you. A, D minus B, C. That's why instead of memorizing this, people in their book, they'll see this and they'll try to memorize it. Is it A times D or is it A times C or whatever? Well, that's fine. Don't memorize that. You know, we're much better at, at looking at patterns. Just look at the square and draw an X, just like you would in the, in the alphabet, and you'll know how to take the determinant. It's not that hard, okay? That is how you calculate it, so let's go ahead and do a few. If I were going to find the determinant of the matrix 2, negative 7, negative 3, 4, how would I do it? Well, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to memorize this. I'm not going to label A, B, C, and D. I'm going to put an X with my fingers, literally. 2 times 4 minus this direction, negative 7 times negative 3. That's it. 2 times 4 minus negative 7 times negative 3. You must put the minus there or you're going to get the wrong answer, okay? So 2 times 4 is 8 minus negative 7 times negative 3 is positive 21. And you'll find that 8 minus 21 is negative 13. This is the answer. So you see it's a number, negative 13. That is the, the determinant of this matrix. Now I haven't told you why 